In this lesson, we are going to cover using the web control in the WinCC Unified PC runtime system, as well as on a WinCC Unified Comfort Panel. In preparation for this lesson, I did create a web control screen. And then on the main screen, I did include a button that allows us to navigate to the web control screen. So I'm going to open up the web control screen. And then I'm going to insert the web control object. So I'm going to go into the toolbox underneath controls and locate the web control and bring that out onto the screen. I will change the width of it. Now there is a header area and a close button. So I'm going to turn off all the window attributes. So I'm going to go down to the appearance area and underneath window settings, I'm going to select the drop down and select none. When I click off, then the border area will disappear. I will select the control again. Underneath the general properties, there is a URL area. This is where you can enter in a static URL. You could make it dynamic by using a tag or JavaScript. We are going to use some JavaScript on a push button to change the URL. So I'm going to minimize the appearance area and go down to the miscellaneous area. And I'm going to locate the function bar area. I'm going to scroll down to the function bar area, and I'm going to select elements. There are three elements that are available that can be shown. I'm going to turn the first two off, the home and the reload button, by going to each one of the elements and turning off the visibility. Go down to the next element, so it's button one. Go to its visibility. Uncheck it. And then I'm going to go to element two. For this one, I'm going to change the size and width. So instead of it being 180, this is this area right here. I'm going to make it 760 so it occupies the entire width of the control. So now there's more room to view the URL entry. Next, I'm going to add a push button onto the screen. So that's going to be under the elements area. I'll just bring that out onto the screen. And I'm just going to type in UCP manual for unified comfort panel manual. I'm going to go down to the events area and I'm going to select the press event. Under the system function area, I'm going to convert that to JavaScript. Position my cursor in the editor, press enter a couple times, go up a line, and I'm going to insert the command to change the URL. So you do screen.items. I'm going to use the control J key to bring up the object browser. And I'm going to select the web control. Close parentheses, period, type in a U to bring up the URL entry. Select the URL entry, and we're going to set it equal to a path that is going to be used for opening up the actual PDF file. So I've got some paths defined in the Notepad program, so I'm just going to open up the Notepad program here. So the first thing we'll talk about the unified PC. This path right here is the location where the documents or the PDF files must be located in order to be displayed during a PC runtime session. And then from a URL perspective, we can use one of these next two URLs to open up the actual document. So you can either use the local host or you can specify the computer name. When you do do PC simulation, the local host doesn't work and you do need to use the actual computer name at this point in version 18. If you're going to be displaying the PDFs on a unified comfort panel, I do have the path listed right here. So I'm going to open up my file explorer. And then this is the location of where the PDF file must be located on a PC runtime environment or PC simulation environment. So I'm going to open up this PDF.PDF file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this path, right click copy, control V, paste, and then paste in the actual path. I'm going to copy this UCP manual button, 
and paste it. And I'm going to create a clear button. I'm just going to put in two empty quotes and then that will clear the URL entry. So I will save my project, select my HMI, and start the simulation. I'm going to go down to runtime values. I'm going to uncheck keep current user administration data in runtime and select load. I will start my Chrome browser. Log into the runtime system. Select my admin user. Enter in the password HMI one, two, three, four, five, and sign in. I will select the web control screen. So right now there is no URL that has been specified. So I will select the UCP manual button. It will write in the path of the local computer name, and then in the WebRH folder, and then display the PDF file. So in here I can Scroll back and forth. You got various commands to zoom in, zoom out. And then I also have a clear URL button. I will bring up the Notepad program again. Just to note on the Unified Comfort Panel, this is the URL path that you would need to specify if you want to open up a document on a Unified Comfort Panel. So on this USB stick, X61, I created a folder called U Runtime Files and put my PDF file in that location. So if this was downloaded to a comfort panel, it would open up the PDF file that is in the U Runtime Files folder that is on the X61 port, so that's the USB stick. If you change that X61 to X51, then that would be the, the data SD card slot on the Unified Comfort Panel. So in this lesson, we covered using the web control to display a PDF in the unified PC runtime environment, as well as a unified comfort panel.